Apple Knocker Radio. One of the parts in the book that uh, I love, you're, you're, there's an interview, a transcript of an interview with you and uh, David Lynch, yep. in which you, you're conducting the interview and he's the guest. Yep. And you mentioned in there um, the, the cowboy scenes from Mulholland Drive, and that happens to be um, every the whole cowboy character in that film. It's one of my favorite pieces of cinema ever. I've, I've contemplated and thought about it. It was so cool that you brought it up. And um, so we got Lynch's response, but I was wondering, could you say, ex- uh, talk a little bit more about why that scene is so intriguing to you personally? Sure. It's from the movie Mulholland Drive, which is probably my favorite of all of Lynch's work. And in that movie, there's a hotshot uh, director, Adam Kesher, who finds that his life is falling apart and he's staying at this down and out hotel in downtown Los Angeles and he's called up to a, a, a ranch. Uh, late at night to meet with this mysterious figure known only as the cowboy and uh, in a a darkly lit uh, clearing uh, in the ranch the cowboy approaches Adam and says to him um, the way a man's life will go uh, depends uh, chiefly on his attitude is that something you might agree with and uh, Adam goes, uh, sure, in a kind of glib way. And the cowboy says to him, "Uh, did you answer that way because uh, uh, you thought that's what I wanted to hear or is that what you sincerely believe? And Adam says, that's what I uh, sincerely believe. And the cowboy asks him, would you just think with me for a little bit? And, And Adam goes, okay, I'm thinking. Again, in this glib style, and the cowboy says, no, no, you're not thinking. You're just being a smart aleck. And he is trying to talk to Adam about living with a certain sense of principle, a certain ingenuousness, and Adam can't understand him at all. And this is a very, very important point, I think, for people to get, which is that All of us, all of us are inflicted with this malady of human nature, which is that we're unable to see principles in another person that we don't possess in ourselves. So a cynic like Adam wants to view the cowboy, needs to view the cowboy through the cynical lens, the self-serving lens with which Adam leads his own life. He takes accomplishments seriously, but he doesn't take principles seriously. In fact, he would smirk at it. We see this again and again, where for example, you can't perceive honesty within another person. You can't perceive sincerity within another person unless you harbor that yourself. The unethical person views honesty as a kind of weakness or as a trick or as a ruse. And that, in some respects, is the crux of the scene for me. And I I was once sharing a meal with David and some other people, and I said to him, that that scene was so deeply meaningful for me. I felt it captured, in a sense, the whole outlook that I attempt uh, to bring to my own life. And I went through a phase where I thought of that scene probably every single day for mm-hmm. several years. And and David really smiled and, and lit up. And, and, and I suppose he felt that he as an artist was getting across the point that he wished to make Mm -hmm. and so that's why i brought that scene up with him in that interview i I think it's just a tremendous statement and i think i said in the interview and i meant it that if we as a human civilization for some strange reason lost all of our guardrails uh in terms of ethical or philosophical guidelines um, everything that we rely upon as a statement of truth were somehow lost to us and we were walking around in this amnesiac way and we had just that one scene as a means of personal guidance we would make it that would be sufficient that would be mm-hmm. enough that's how deeply and strongly I responded to that passage of the movie so the, it's it's lodged very deeply in my psyche hmm yeah, I, I love getting to talk to somebody who's also been as just fascinated by that scene as I have been. I've also wondered, why did Lynch choose to use such an arch- archetypal character as a cowboy? Like, anybody could have delivered that, and it came from the, a cowboy. 
I have, yeah. that I have also thought about why he would choose to do that. Um, do you have any thoughts on that? Well, uh, Lynch grew up in Missoula, Montana. That might have reminded him of some of the men around him as he was growing up. And he did say that one day in his office, he was speaking to an assistant and he found himself speaking as the cowboy spoke. And hmm. he, he suddenly started writing it down or asking the assistant to write it down. And the manner in which he was speaking was that of the cowboy. And when you talk to David, you encounter somebody who is on one hand a very, very sophisticated man and a very complex man, but on the other hand, who puts things in a very simple, direct way. And he is unafraid of smiling. He is unafraid of showing appreciation. There's not this aloofness about the man. He's approachable. And I think he saw the cowboy perhaps as a mixture of those traits. I'm only speculating. Mm. And he may have seen the cowboy as, as, again, similar to some of the figures he admired growing up. 